All right, Kip here at Thousands of Roots, and today I'm going to attempt, hopefully get to, finishing that short piece of fence down there, and I'm gonna show you the way I came up with uh, stretching the fence. And oh yeah, make sure you stay tuned to the end, because we have an announcement about a giveaway. We reached 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, you guys. Now, in the, in the past, in about, about a year and a half ago or so, I did one fence with a guy who knew what he was really doing and we did we did about 1700 feet of fencing together and this is field fencing which is very different from like barbed wire um, or electrical fence or whatever else so field fencing there's very specific way you need to stretch that fence to make it tight and I came up with a way to do it that it worked really well out here where I just had uh, ratchet straps and what's called a come along and I'm going to show you those tools because I don't have a proper fence stretcher so which would be really neat to have and I could make one pretty easily just have to buy a three three um, nuts and bolts combo that are the right length two pieces of wood cut to the right height um, and then wire that comes from the bo from from the bottom and the top of that that come down and connect to each other then you can that would be a fence stretcher but I don't have that so I want to show you how you can stretch fence like a pro without proper fence stretcher but let me tell you part of the challenge is I have one day a week where I can work here at the homestead because every day when I come home from work it's already sundown so I can't get out and do work I can't get out and plus I'm pretty much done, you know. So I have one day a week. But what happens on that one day a week I have? You know, there's a list of things I need to do. But all these other things come up like, hey, the phone doesn't work. The phone doesn't work. Well, that's kind of a big deal. That's got to be fixed. So it's such a struggle to really make forward progress here on the homestead when I only have one day a week. But then that one day even on those tasks that really take us forward... I can only put a couple few hours towards them because all these other things come up. All right guys, so today I repaired our phone and internet, DSL. Thankfully got that done. I went and dropped off trash at our friend's house. Then I had to go and find the guy in my vehicle who brings us wood for our heat and cooking. And I found him. So I got a schedule to get another wood delivery. Woohoo! Um, I cut a little bit of our own wood because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to find him or not. This Farm Boss chainsaw, I'm uh, really impressed with the steel, uh, steel, or still um, chainsaws. I have not started this thing in a year, and it started on the fourth pull. Awesome. That's pretty impressive. We also emptied this tank, got a sump pump, about 200 gallons, and we went ahead and put it into here, into our uh, 1500 gallon tank. Because this tank is still leaking, we've got to get it fixed. It's got leak in it. So we got to get that fixed, and then we need to go get it refilled again. And so now it's about an hour and a half or so until chore time and then dinner time. And we haven't gotten to the fencing yet, but guess what? That's what we're gonna go do right now. We're gonna go see if we can get that fence finished. I'm gonna bring you along with us on this journey and I'm gonna show you the way I figured out of doing the fence stretching that I think will encourage you that any person with a little bit of ingenuity and gumption can do it. Fence stretching is one of the most challenging aspects of putting a fence up, for sure. So hopefully I can show you this technique I figured out and make it a little easier for you and less intimidating. Creator, yep. do you think we can make this fun? Yep. What do you plan on doing with my water for me? The toilet. Are you going to hold it for me? Yeah. You going to show us how you can get around now? How well are you walking and running and stuff? All right. <laughs> mm. 
You still got a limp, don't you? Does it hurt though at all? No hurting? Oh good. Okay guys, we're setting up the bench stretching right now. So we have this long chain that's got hooks on both ends. Hooks like this. Good. Hooks like this on both ends of this long chain. So this right here is called a come along. This is a come along where you work this lever and I'll show you when we do it. You work this lever and it shortens the cord. So this chain and follow it Esther, Nathan show, where we hooked it onto a tree. So that's our anchor point on that tree. Now we're gonna set up the ratchet straps. So you want to set it up like this, right? So you can feed it through and it comes, comes through there. So, this, this, the ratchet strap will go onto this hook here. What I'm going to do is weave it in here. Weave it and twist it. Weave it and twist it. Weave it and twist it three times. So that when it's pulling, it'll pull on all three of these. Then it won't just yank them off. Let's see how that works. Okay, so I put it around this one and I spun it. Then I put it around this one and spun it around this one and spun it, around this one and spun it, and then hooked onto this one. So when this is pulling, it's actually gonna pull on every one of these. So by doing that, these shouldn't just slide down. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom. Now we can connect this to the ratchet here. Beat it. The other one, we just hook it onto here. Hold this, Nathan. Okay. Let's get this one ready. There we go. Okay, now it's ready. So, feed it through here, Nathan, and then once it's nice and cold, start to ratchet it. Get enough to hook onto here. <clears throat> pull, pull this, pull this slack out. There you go. So now they go this way actually. Now keep it straight and ratchet. It's important to keep these straight while it's ratcheting. Okay, go ahead. All right, that'll do. One lower, because this is more, more mainly for dogs. Even dogs out. Okay. Okay. Just want to show you how tight this is. Getting a fence, this kind of fence, tight is of utmost importance. Listen to this. That's how tight this fence is. And that's with no staples up here. We only put one staple on the bottom on this one. So that's pretty good.
Go! This way, up, there you go. And boom. Okay. Try? Yep, your turn. So you grab like this, pull out, twist. Yeah, just like that. You get it all the way. It's okay, it's good. You can grab it now. There you go, nice. Reach around and twist it. Twisty, twisty. Now just bend that up a little bit. As long as it's bent a little bit, that's fine. Just fine. Cool. Okay. Alright. Hey, Joshy, another good day's work today, huh? Mm -hmm. What did you learn today? I learned how to, I learned how to splice the wires to the cabin. Yeah, when we were working on the DSL phone? Yeah. Yeah. And I worked how to better put the fence clips on. The fence clips on. Mm -hmm. That's on the T-posts. There's yeah. a, the little, little kind of clip deals. It's pieces of wire that are bent into shape. That's a fence clip. That's for going around T-posts. Yep, so Josh is learning the technique of putting those on better. Yep. Learning a lot of this homestead, huh, Joshy? Uh -huh. You sure are doing a good job, honey. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Daddy. And here's our other helper. She did a lot of filming today, out here working on the fence. Just, just a great, awesome little farm girl. Do you like being out here, honey? Yeah. Yeah. It is cold. It's cold, though? You ready to go back in? Yeah. Where it's nice and warm? <laughs> okay, let's head back in. All right, guys, done for the evening, and we've finished to the end of the fence. Yoo-hoo! And so it's all the way stretched to here. This is the last post. Thankfully, it's stapled there, so it's only being pulled and held on uh, two T-posts with the with the clips, which is not ideal to hold that at the end. But again, it's stapled there, so it's not very far. So that's cool. It's not really holding much tension here. So all we have to do is go from here, and that's the corner right there. So it's about, yeah, 80 feet, something like that. Left, maybe 100 at most. And we'll have this whole side field fenced, and that is one of our goals. Thank you so much for watching. This is Kip here, Thousands of Roots, and I'm so thankful, so thankful for my family, what awesome helpers they are, and we're all learning so much out here, we're learning together, I'm doing my very best to bring them along with me, and as I learn things, teach them things, I'm doing my very best to do that, and to include them in the things that I do, and try to include them in a positive way, not just include them as the drill sergeant, because Guys, I can become kind of like a drill sergeant. <laughs> when I'm stressed and under pressure, I can just be like, do this, do that, do this, now, 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 you know? And that's no fun. I'm trying to make it a positive experience for them. You know, encourage them, tell them what a great job they're doing. And Josh, he's really taken into this. It's really cool. Nathan's doing a great job. Kayla's being su such an awesome helper with, with the baby girl. So that frees mommy up to do so much. So everybody's pitching in, it's so cool to work together as a family, having a common goal, common vision, and be going towards that vision together as a family, bit by bit, step by step. Thank you so much for watching. Whatever you do, do with your whole heart. Okay, giveaway time, guys. We had hoped to do a giveaway when we reached 2,000 subscribers, but we un unexpectedly flew past 2,000. So this is our first giveaway, and we're just super excited to have gotten this far on our channel because of all of you guys. Thank you so much to all of our subscribers. Thank you for those who've been sharing our videos. You guys are awesome. So the giveaway, we want to do a $25 gift card, and it's actually a digital gift card, to Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company. It's our favorite place to get seeds. They've just got a huge variety of great seeds. 
So we're gonna pick one random person to uh, receive that $25 good digital gift card. So the two things you need to do if you want to be part of the giveaway, you need to have a valid email address so that if you are the winner, we can send you that digital gift card. And then also number two, if you would please share one of our videos for us and then leave a comment down below this video letting us know that you shared. And it can be as simple as I shared. <laughs> so that would help us out, give us another little boost. Please leave your comment below this video by this coming Saturday, the December, I think, 16th. And then we'll probably draw the name on Sunday and announce it in next Tuesday's video. One more thing about the giveaway is you do need to be prepared, I believe, to cover your own shipping on the seeds. I don't think the gift card covers shipping, but it should be a pretty small amount. They don't have a huge shipping rate. So that's it. Hope you guys will join on the giveaway and thanks again. We appreciate you guys so much.